everybody. Thanks for stopping by the channel. This is uh, Thanksgiving Day and I thought I would try to uh, get a video out for people that are sitting around. And as Mr. Pete has said uh, many times, and I know if you watch me, you of course you definitely watch him, uh, beating the subject to death. <laughs> so if you watched uh, the two previous videos, I did a video showing using a test indicator on the Criterion 2-inch uh, boring head. And one of the issues was um, cosine, uh, cosine problems. And I had the unit on this side, which had really nothing to do with the cosine issue. It was basically where I had the indicator uh, arm located. It needs to be parallel with the surface that you're reading. Well, then I did an update and I moved it to this side and that was the update. I increased the length of the stem and uh, it worked really well. And uh, it taught me about cosine error, which is was uh, good and I'm glad that uh, I did it. Well, a lot of people don't like the test indicator and they wanted a standard uh, indicator, uh, drop indicator, such as like what this would be. Now this one is a one inch uh, and it reads in thousands. It fits on here. I've already had it on there. The unit I have on there right now is a uh, tenth reading and it is uh, uh, half a half an inch or five hundred thousandths uh, throw. Um, so it works great. No cosine error now. It's a straight shot. Uh, really happy with it. Let me uh, let me pull it off the uh, pull it off the head there and just talk about it here for a second. So when I made this one. Uh, I don't draw it up. I just kind of see what I want to do and go with it in my head. And uh, had some three-quarter inch stock. Uh, actually uh, put it on the lathe uh, in a uh, three-quarter inch collet, a square collet. which uh, makes it really simple. Um, and it, all in all, very happy with how the unit turned out. Put a flat on it so that it always lines up uh, uh, in line with the unit. The only thing that uh, I would change if I was to build it again now is I ended up with a round um, stem here. I'll show you on the bottom here. So, with the, if you guys are going to copy this, this would be my suggestion. So I went with a round stem in a slot. Well, the problem with that is, as you go to tighten it, you don't end up square with the piece. you got to be careful about it. Simple way is just put a uh, clamp on it and then tighten it, and it's straight. That's what I did earlier. If I was to redo it again, uh, this would be have flats on it and it would ride on the flats in there and that way it would stay in line uh, and wouldn't twist. Um, I'm not going to make another one. <laughs> this works fine, but I thought I would throw it out for anybody uh, that wants to copy this. Um, and then just figuring out your height, which was fairly simple to do. And then making your piece. Uh, turns out it's uh, 400 thousandths uh, for the stem uh, on the back of the indicator to the center of the hole. So that was uh, simple to figure out. And I think uh, I think uh, I think it's 850 total, 850 thousandths based on my bottom piece where I needed to be at. But anyway, thought I'd share that with you. It works great, and of course it's reading radius. Um, this unit when is a one thou 
per tick on the dial here and you move the dial to say one thou but the head is only going to move half a thou it's because uh, it's moving in a radius just like on a lathe okay guys uh hope you like this uh other uh, means of uh, trying to uh, dial small amounts and, and in closing you know if you went in there and you're starting to rough I don't think you need this it's, it's when you're getting down and you want to really get something fine it's where you can make your adjustments the other nice thing about this is um, once you have this set on here and as you're moving to your number if you miss your number you can go backwards, take the backlash out, and come back to the number you had on the indicator before you went to move. So it's a real, real uh, nice way to not bozo something. Again, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, hope you're having a great uh, Thanksgiving day.